let's do a thermal analysis in solid work simulation first we have to make a model then we will ap apply thermal analysis now let first read this problem an electric device generate heat at rate of 100 watt simulate and find the main thermal characteristics of set of fins located on the top of this device now look see bottom is part 1 the top one is part 2 and this is fin bottom one we considered as a part you will see here part 1 part 2 copper plain carbon steel millimeter and these are the dates okay now the surrounding air is at a temperature of 300 kelvin okay and the heat transfer coefficient is 15 watt per square kelvin okay these three things we have to find the temperature distribution over the surface of object the temperature gradient in the object the heat flux distribution over the external surface now we have these three the first one is temperature distribution across the surface temperature distribute transfer from bottom to fins you will see the upper part is like uh, cooler than the bottom one you will see in this plot now similarly we have temperature gradient plot and heat flux plot so let's do this first make model now just note down the bottom radius 100 mm diameter 100 mm and 20 depth part 1 then there is a part 2 120 diameter depth also 20 then there is a fin 100 mm and see the distance 5 thickness 5 and here outside to outside 115 symmetric geometry so let's do this first now let's open file new and here select assembly we will make all the part in assembly say okay now cancel this all okay now go to assembly and here activate drop down the component and choose new part select this one click here somewhere and here choose edit part edit component now see this is become blue so we are in part 1 so i am going to select top plane click sketch now here you will see all the sketch tools activated now activate circle start with origin point click and drag your mouse and let's say 100 enter right click choose select and exit see simply exit and go to feature and activate extruded boss base now here this bottom now see the depth of this part is 20 mm but we will make reverse side because the we have to make up another part on the top of this say okay simply exit okay now let's activate drop down and choose new part part 2 now click click somewhere here and choose edit component now drop down and see the part 2 activated now i am going to choose top plane that's why we made this part downward side go to sketch choose here sketch activate circle tool and here draw 120 enter right click choose select and exit now go to feature and select extruded boss base now here keep direction one blind depth 20 mm see say okay now here we have two different parts okay again i am going to select this top face sketch now i am going to click convert entity i am going to uh, make a circle then corner rectangle now i am going to make fin press escape key to out and here choose smart dimension 5 mm okay now select outside to center 105 divided by 2 okay now here i am going to select linear sketch pattern now here entities to pattern let me select all the okay all the lines and here axis already selected now here distance it shows 20 mm 
now number of instances 6 you will see here say ok smart dimension and let's define this outer one also so that our geometry will be fully defined look it seems fully defined let me choose trim entity power trim just press and hold left mouse and drag your mouse over edge and see this is going to delete just press and hold left mouse and drag your mouse over the edge similarly I am going to do in this all areas now look now still it seems undefined so let's define some more thing okay look this is fully defined now see now go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature see isometric view and see this is going upside now here let's apply direction 100 millimeter upside say okay look fins are created simply here right exit now we have two component now let me save this first yes now hit sync ok let's save in any file hit sync this is that's fine save now it is ask you save internally all, all the components or save one by one so I am going to choose save externally see both part going to save as a part one part two ok now go to here and choose activate solidworks simulation if you don't have go to add-ins option add-ins and activate from here click this one ok now it will appear here within few seconds it's working ah look it come here now first drop down and choose new study now this time I am going to choose thermal study thermal analysis so go to advanced simulation activate thermal here give any name for this thermal analysis or even ok let's go ok now here you will see first is part drop down and here we have two parts now let's apply first material so right click on part 1 here we have apply favorite material you will see there are copper available so simply I am going to choose from here copper now see the copper is applied now right click edit material now this is going to be steel plain carbon steel you will see all the characteristics of ok apply now see the material applies now we have to apply connections between these two parts so we have to apply interaction local interaction between this so I am going to choose local interaction now first at this surface this is going to connect to each other so first I am going to choose manual I am going to select this one now activate this one just move cursor over right click choose select now the first one extruded boss base part 1 this is the face see this face already you will see in pink color the upper face of this part 1 already selected here you will see face 2 part 1 ok now thermal resistance 
thermal resistance is defined as the ratio of temperature difference between the two faces of a material to the rate of heat flow per unit area okay so si unit now here i am going to apply 0.01 kelvin per watt okay now next is we have to apply thermal loads and convections first right click on load apply heat power now heat power i am going to apply this face and you will see clearly the arrow moves upper side okay you, even you can change the direction from here and uh, unit si how much 100 watt now see the arrow you can change but i want to move heat upper side so this will keep as it is say okay now let's apply heat convection so right click on thermal convections now convections happen all the body so i am going to select here select all exposed body except this body so press control key and select this face and deactivate this face only and convection is going to happen across all body now here we have a convection coefficient now coefficient of uh, convection coefficient energy transfer per unit time per unit area per degree kelvin so here we have to apply let's say 15 watt per square meter kelvin then here ambient temperature ambient temperature it's 300 kelvin say okay now power and everything is applied now i'm not going to apply any mesh look if you don't want to see this okay let's directly apply run this study now it will take okay now i am going to choose here convection right click hide all the convections and even though power heat height now now you will see this is the plot temperature kelvin if you want to see in celsius so right click on thermal edit definition now here i am going to choose celsius what other options we can do it okay unit uh, let's say general not scientific say okay now see this is the temperature now look 100 watt we applied here so temperature transfer from this place to fin you will see the upper part of fin temperature is low 54 degree and at bottom temperature is near 100 degree celsius 88.5 celsius okay now right click on result define thermal plot now here display now this what is the second thing we need to up find out now the second thing is temperature gradient and the third one is heat flux distribution so here i am going to see okay resultant temperature gradient okay you need i am going to keep same and rest uh, everything i am going to keep as it is say okay now look now uh, see the temperature gradient a physical quantity that distributes in which direction at the at what rate of temperature changes the most rapidly around a particular location see at this particular location temperature going to change very rapidly so you can check from this plot this is distribution temperature gradient plot if you want to see right click edit definition advanced option if you want to see a vector plot say okay now if we drop down and you will see in this area the most temperature gradient happened frequently temperature going to change at this area frequently 
I am going to change this one to normal. Okay, let's make our third plot. So right click on result, define thermal plot and the third one we need to define resultant heat flux. Resultant heat flux. Uh, everything we uh, you need a uh, watt per square meter. Say OK. Now look, this is the third one. Now heat heat flux, heat flow rate intensity is a flow of energy per unit area per unit time. Now to express amount of energy transfer from one place to another place in the form of heat. You will see at the surface of part 1, part 2 you will see the maximum amount of heat transfer. Even though let us apply edit definition and we will see vector plot ok ok let us ok let us observe see maximum number of heat transfer happened this between the both surface connection between both the part you will see most number of heat flux happened between two parts at the joint right click edit definition ok so these are the three parameters problem we need to find and we did it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching